What's up, everybody? It is Sunday. It's a uh, Maddie Piddle in the Garage day, my favorite kind of day. So I am gonna wash the Evo, the GT3, the Touring's pretty clean, the E92 is clean, the E36 is pretty clean, the um, new Cayman GTS, which is up in the mountains now, is also clean. So I figure it's time to wash the Evo. We haven't washed it on camera yet. I haven't done a wash and talk in several weeks. I've been running around like a crazy person. And uh, so let's do it. Let's get my GSF ready to go. New Griot's foam cannon should launch in a couple of, couple of days here. I think, um, I think we have the Griot's foam cannons in stock. So, I mean, if you, have to, if you have to have one and you want to help me out, support us, just hit me up. Um, hit up support at obsessedgarage.com. They'll get you taken care of. Uh, we have a it's a big project for us to make the transition with all the packages and stuff. So Anyway, I'm getting my GSF ready to go here. The Evo is pretty dirty. I haven't washed it since we coated it and I don't think I really even shot the coating part on camera I'm gonna shoot this one 60 frames, which I like the look of that that sort of old-school Maddie live look only on a much better camera this is the Canon C70 with the RF lens. We're gonna use the deli pad, so we're gonna use this guy. Let me just throw this on the side here. I'm done with this. It's time to fill this up. I've got some uh, reactivation shampoo, which I guess would be a competitor of reset to try at some point, so I kind of have that sit back here. Um, let's fill up our rinse bucket. And let's get our pressure washer ready to go. I'm going to play some volleyball with Michelle's volleyball team since Michelle is now the head coach of the village's high school volleyball program, the girls. And then she's also the club director, so Michelle got a job. Like a full-time, full-time job. Let's turn that on. Turn the doors on. And I had to use singles at, uh, at Helen, so I talked to Mike. How are we going to get our dual Krenzels at Helen? All right, so I always like to get this set up, throw this in there. Our wheel bucket ready to go. And we'll come back as usual. Let out a little more slack here. So we can get around the car. Lately, I've been letting too much slack out, so I don't want to let too much. I keep forgetting to get 4.0 nozzles here for when I need it. All right, let me put the camera down. Let's clean the wheels. It is Central Florida time of year, man. It is like 75 out here. It's beautiful. Doors are open, but uh, every time this time of year I come out and wash a car with the garage door open, it just feels right. It feels like, feels where I belong. It feels like the old days of making videos on in my uh, the brown house. Ooh, this is dirty. So clearly I haven't done the suspension yet on this. So I'll be doing that in the next few months. But this is my first like normal wash of this thing. I haven't washed this thing yet other than the decon. So I'm not even sure if the incredible brush fits in here. Yeah, it does. The brakes were, are really nice. The, the Project Mew pads. I just did a first drive video in it, uh, so if you haven't checked that out, maybe go go watch that video. But I just did a first drive talking about the car. I uh, I now on Friday, so today's Sunday. On Friday, I put the Fujitsubo ex exhaust on it. It's like the, it's like the other ones. It's a little too tame, but the. The one that I had on there is just not good. It, uh, it's too like hot boy, like too boomy sounding. So I'm uh, pleased to take that, take that sucker off, put the uh, Fujitsubo on for now. Something tells me I'm gonna have seven more exhausts before I settle on something. But we shall see, time will tell. 
shoot, I needed to, I forgot to get one of these. I gotta take inventory. So I did this in Helen when I took inventory of everything that we had, made a giant list. New things, old things. So I need to do the same thing here. Make a giant list of things I need to replace, things that I haven't brought over yet that are new that I'm missing out on. So we'll get that done here soon. I do need to, I ordered new tires for the wed sports that I bought for this. Even though I'm not ready to lower the car, uh, I'm gonna put the wed sports on just for the time being because uh, Jack, uh, Freddie's friend Jack, who's you know the, the guy on Freddie's channel, Tavares' channel, uh, needs to borrow these wheels for the show at SEMA. So I told him, sure. I'll take these off and put the other ones on and then I'll put the wet sports on and then we'll start working on when I'm gonna do the rest of the suspension. I've got some got some things I need to do and then, and then Tommy and Bryce didn't forgot about this thing or maybe they didn't even know about it but this is the soft bristle version of the detail factory brush. I told them I thought it was in the works. I told them the other day I said hey we need to get this brush and I like this one better than the normal gray bristle. But it's a new version. I don't know that it's, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm supposed to be talking about it. Oh yeah, that armor wheel coating is really good, people. I'm telling you. I haven't really made any movement or anything on on the uh, the new garage we're gonna build, but we're getting Mike, Mike primed and ready because he's working on the construction project of the shed to keep crap out of my studio. Man, this thing's a lot dirtier than I thought. Good. Maybe I'd just rather you do this than getting the credit brush. It's probably more effective. I can go every other spoke. So yeah, the Evo's doing all right. I, uh, I gotta get the uh, turbo injectors and tune done because with the high flow cat, it just doesn't like it, so. I'm pretty happy with the power that it makes right now. What are you looking at, Shelly? Checking my exposure for me? Yeah, it's a little bit dark, but it could be just the screen. It's good. I know what I'm doing. Don't you worry. I've never doubted you. Yeah. So if you hadn't noticed, maybe hopefully, I'll do a little, a little less mouth breathing, but I'm officially in the 220s, people. I haven't been in the 220s since 2014. I was thinking about it the other day, like how long has it been? So I'm like, right now, as you see me, I'm probably like 228. I've seen 227 on the scale after cycling yesterday. I've officially done some mountain biking for the first time, actual mountain biking, instead of just Florida trail riding. Uh, so we did that up in Helen, found some amazing mountain bike trails, like right there. I got a quote in my inbox for uh, four new uh, mountain bikes, two for me, and then three, or I guess it would be five new mountain bikes, and then three more for the Helen House, the Helen House. That pocket in this wheel wants to shoot all the water back at me. Let's see how the water behavior looks. Oh yeah, that's the uh, high temp Dr. Beasley's that I put on there. Take two seconds to clean. So I think I'm gonna retain high flow cat. 
and then maybe I'll try a few other exhausts. Okay, good. I couldn't remember. Did I coat it with the JDM bumper on? Yes, I did. The only disadvantage of doing it with the doors open is that I don't get quite as much of a control of the light. So it's a little more difficult. Yeah, it was weird washing the Helen without two pressure washers. It felt weak. And then after a minute or so, then you, then I start to question, I'm like, well, maybe it's better without all this flow. It's the same pressure, but we have double, more than double the flow. So yeah, I think, I think this, I plan, what my current plan is, remember my five prong plan. I'm gonna get, get healthy, so lose a bunch of weight, start my supplementation plan. Supplementation feel, plan feels great. I feel, I feel really freaking good. It's the best I've felt and God knows. I didn't know I wasn't feeling good, but I feel freaking fantastic. I'm down roughly 20 pounds and uh, probably gonna do another 20. And who knows what will happen next. My, my driving is improving every day. So my current goals were to drive to the gym. So I drove there Friday for the first time in a long time. And then the next step is to drive to Santos, which is the bike trail. I'd love to be able to get there on my own without having to rely on people to get me there. And then, then who knows what, maybe I could actually go to like the, right now is the GT Smokies event, which is my favorite thing to do. I haven't been at it in years because I can't freaking do it. And then, you know, the reason I bought this car was to get me on the road. And then my plan, my plan is to go all Porsche. So GT4 RS. 991.1 GT3 RS. Keep, you know, have my touring. Probably get some other uh, non GT cars. We'll see. Let's see, this week I've got to work on. Got to get back on the talks with uh, Built Hamber to get moving on bringing Touchless over because we're going to use Touchless here shortly on this car. So yeah, let's see. What was my five prong plan? One was get a beater. That's this. Two was to start supplementa uh, a supplementation plan. Three was to you know work out, lose weight. I've done in spades. That's three. Four was cold plunge. Cold plunge and then eventually sauna. I don't remember what five was. That seems like maybe, maybe five. Yeah, I don't know what five was. But I'm doing it. You know, I've been saying all this time, all these, I'd give anything to be able to stop being anxious and drive, be able to drive and go wherever I wanted to go, like a normal person. And uh, I've done, I was lying to myself. I did everything except for get frickin' fit and healthy, you know? It's not that I was unhealthy. It was just average, Ch a little bit chubby. I don't do average, do average elsewhere, you know? That's the original tagline. But now it makes everything better. Like I already shot a video this morning, went to church, I'm here. Uh, normally I'd be out in there trying to take a nap or something. I'm sleeping, oh, that was the other thing, sleep. Uh, that was five. And so I've been sleeping an average of nine hours a night. 
You know, go to bed at 10, get up at 7, 9 to 10 hours at a time. And that's really made a, a huge impact. All right, let's do our pre-wash, which I definitely want to do because this thing is really dirty. So I've got touchless in here, undiluted, and we just go fast. So let me start on this side. So yeah, man, I'm feeling good. Hopefully I'm starting to look a little better. Not that that really matters much to me, but my uh, Rolex real man style. If you don't, didn't watch or listen to the podcast, I talked about my uh, future pathway to a jeans, t-shirt, and a Rolex with some sweet, uh, sweet like Pacific Northwest boots or something. It's gonna be my, my as in my future. So Rolex real man is uh, in process. I gotta get some more money, so I need to sell some stuff. You guys need to buy some stuff so I can get some some Rolexes. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, let's calm down. I got one Rolex, that's all I need. What I didn't realize is part of the reason I don't like wearing a watch is I was wearing that Omega, the Omega Planet Ocean, Seamaster Planet Ocean, which is I think is a 40, what is it, a 44? It just feels heavy and annoying. And so, transitioning to a smaller 40 millimeter faced watch just feels better, feels more comfortable. pretty clean already. Stuff works pretty darn well. All right, let's foam it. GSF. See if I like washing this car as much as some of my others. Boom. It is nice washing it in the garage, deep enough in where I'm not getting any sun saturation, but with the doors open rather than doors closed, it just feels, feels right. Darn shorts are falling off. I'm gonna have to get some, I have to buy some new clothes. These didn't even fit me six weeks ago. So this is the new deli pad that I don't need for this car, but just wanted to use it. I need to give you my assessment on things. In order to do that, you gotta use it. Let's 
So yeah, as I'm saying, I feel fitter, I feel better. I'm excited to get in the cold plunge. Should be here this week. I ordered a Renew Therapy cold plunge. It's gonna go back on the pool deck. And then I'm planning to build a sauna in our master bathroom. <laughs> Let's see if I can convince Michelle to do that. So I'm hoping I've been made, making some serious progress in driving panic. And so I'm hoping I'm gonna stay the course that cold plunging and the, you know, the, the struggle and the endorphin inducing sort of hyperventilation you get when you get in a, uh, in a cold plunge, like when you take a cold shower. I'm hoping. will continue to get me to a nice balance and then maybe I can have my life back. But I do, you know, I really do honestly feel like that, you know, there's some divine intervention in this current stage of my life that had I not been suffering, I wouldn't be able to uh, have done what I've done. Been, wouldn't, been, wouldn't have been able to reach as many of you, wouldn't have been able to create this. If I'd have been running around in my cars all over the place, maybe I wouldn't have invested as much time in the infrastructure of Obsessed Garage and doing things like Destination OG. So it's not that I'm thankful for it, but I, I feel like maybe it's appropriate season. I know that many of you couldn't, ima couldn't imagine being a car guy or car girl and not being able to just jump in the car and go to the grocery store. But if you could imagine for a moment what a curse that is. And then for some of you that really covet or dream of having some of the cars that I've been able to have and then not being able to drive them put yourself in that position it uh it's pretty much a one of the worst sentences you can give to someone and that's the life i've been living but it's been offset by a lot of other great things so i haven't I felt it's not that i've been complaining i've just kind of felt sorry for myself sort of but it's just the, the cards have been dealt. So I'm just attempting, I mean, the whole Obsessed Garage thing is a, an attempt to turn a, turn something like the struggles, the obsessive compulsive disorder that I have into a, turn it into a contribution rather than a, a crutch to the world. That's been my pursuit. This car seems big because it's a four door, but it's really pretty small. So it's not that difficult to wash, I'm finding out. It was pretty easy to polish. Quick two step. I did Gio, uh, Grio's fast correcting cream followed by perfect finish and coated it with a single coat of G-Technic CSL and then XO V5, no, uh, no PPF. Currently has 2,100, 2,100 miles. Yes, you've heard that correct, 2,100 miles on it. It's an 05 Evo 8. I just got confirmation that my Evo 9 bumper is in, so the plan would be to do Evo 9 front bumper, FP Green Turbo. I'm gonna have Chris Carby, who's a pretty renowned Evo tuner here in the Florida market, to tune it for me. I'm gonna stay math, not speed density. 
It'll be somewhere around 400 horsepower, something like that, give or take. It should be great. So I have to put the Olin suspension on it. Put the, uh, the Wed Sport wheels and tires. I ordered 265 35 18s. We'll see if that fits. The Wed Sports have a pretty lean offset. I think it's I think it's plus 33 or five, 35 or something like that. So I should have room to put more meat and not with no spacers. Right now I have I think 20 millimeter space or maybe 15 millimeter spacers on it, 15 millimeter spacers on it right now. So we put the Olin's road and track that I have sitting there on it and do a bunch of the white line bushing replacement parts that I have. It already has white line sway bars on it. PS4S's 265, 35, 18. Oh shoot, gotta do the jams. And then we're rolling. And then I'm done with it and then I get rid of it. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Part of the reason why I haven't lowered it, it looks like it's on stilts, is so that if I needed to pull over, I could. Easier than with maybe some of the other cars that are lower. And then I'll probably do the JDM Evo 7 tails, which are the all red version. And then I think I'm gonna do JDM Evo 8 headlights. I think I like those the best. Let's rinse it and dry it. Are we looking here, looking pretty good. Yep. So remember when you're washing in a garage, don't go at it at like a 30 degree, come straight at it so I'm not shooting water all over the place. The thing I can't imagine, remember I was talking about, I think I, I made this video for Inside the Hex, but I was talking about that feeling you get when you take a cool car to the gas station. And like, again, I don't care what other people think. I, uh, I care that people know that I know that they think I'm stupid, which is a little bit more convoluted. But there's something about taking your like, you know, your life's pursuit, like, your GT3 RF. And there's a sense of like gratitude that I get when I get to drive a cool car to some place and whether somebody's looking at it or not, I don't really, doesn't really, the fact that I'd rather them not acknowledge it. But I'm looking for that, you know, I have to take my, uh, if I get to drive to Orlando in my GT3 Touring or the kids football game or something, Ryan's football game. There'd be such a strong sense of gratitude, like man. I'm so happy for this life that I've been able to experience. Turn this water off. Turn these two off. Let me hit these rotors. Let's see how these respond. Might need to do, might need to do some back and forth on these buddies. This is Adamac from Built Hamber.
really need some some darn carbon ceramics for this thing. <laughs> That'd be sick. But the beauty of this, at least I hope, the beauty of this last few years of experience of not being able to do or go where I want to go should mean that I, it'll never be lost on me again. How, you know, things that you love not to take for granted. PP plug there. Get it wound out a bit here. I'm telling you, I'm gonna change my hose. Keep saying I'm gonna change the OG hose, and I just haven't done it. thing off. I had some really good conversations with uh, product development at Pressall this past week. So we're getting closer to get our, our gallons, squeeze bottles, fixing the spray heads with the high alkalinity stuff. We're four months into testing there. So, and it hasn't failed yet, so that's good. Changed some of the seals and plastic components and then we're working on like this here is the stainless nozzle. So the stainless nozzles would never fail, but we don't know what they cost. And the stainless nozzles are also going to affect our ability to produce, which you can't produce as many of them. V2 of the drying aid, just kind of feel like it's just pushing it around. V2 is unsolicited, by the way. They sent it to me. I don't think I like it. Let's dry this puppy off. I need to dress the tires. I do need to vacuum the interior, but I don't know if I'm gonna get that done today. Or, well, you know, while we're on camera anyway. What else we got going on? Still working on the Canada stuff. So we found out we are gonna have to make a new website, so that's not good. So we're gonna have to figure out some efficiencies, what's the most efficient way to do that, where we can make it 
feel like one website. Now I just need the money, lots and lots of money in order to be able to make it happen. I have my uh, person to run it. If I can get somebody or get an American citizen up there, we're gonna find that out. My assistant Susie's working out great. At least it is for me. I hope it's working out great for her. The uh, Adam LZ project is a go, so we're gonna book the date. I think probably gonna start November 14th or no, November 15th is when we're gonna start demo. That's the plan. So that's a big old project that I think is gonna be really, really cool. Cool and exciting for me and the. Uh, just the pursuit of like the attention that I think that's gonna garner. And then, so the, you know, the help marketing wise and then the test to see, you know, some of these products that we'll be putting in there, am I gonna be interested in them and further developing and maybe representing those products. And then just all the other shenanigans that we get into Scott is lending me his Prevost you know, coach. You don't call it an RV, it's a coach. So I'm gonna be in that and we're gonna get into you know, some RV care as well as we're gonna be designing a silenced Krenzla while we're out there working on this. So kind of in between days, we're gonna be building out a Krenzla package for it and then probably launching that for the for the RV world. So Scott wants to have a silenced version of it, which I think is a great idea. So we're gonna take a 1322 and we're gonna put it in some sort of housing or shroud, kind of like what we have with our silent piston FIAX, or at least used to have with the silent piston FIAX that they no longer seem to be making. So we're gonna do something like that so people could wash their Prevost early in the morning at the park or wherever the heck they take these things and not disturb everyone. What's going on with the windows here? Like the, something funky on the side here. It's like grabbing my towel. It's weird. I don't know what's going on here. I have to get a waffle weave out after this and see what's going on. The windows are coated, but it's like it's got some goop or something on it. And then we're going to do some dry ice cleaning at LZ's place. You know, I don't want to just do, both for the YouTube channel and just for me, I don't want to do just house stuff for two straight months. It's gonna be house heavy and the transformation heavy, but I need to, you know, keep the business going. So I can't abandon, you know, cars and detailing and you know, my flagship stuff, stuff that I have, you know, my strongest interest just because I'm gonna be moonlighting and some of my other interests doesn't mean that my main interest gets abandoned. It's just like now when you see me making videos, I'm making videos about all kinds of topics, but with a heavy focus on taking care of my cars. So what we've been having problems with with this 
the original drying aid version, I think it has to do with heat. We've never had this problem before where in the tote, there gets this like goopy, almost looks like cottage cheese forming in the uh, tote. And, um, you know, B&B &B is aware of it, but we don't know what to do about it. Like we can't figure out how to get rid of it. And so what we're doing is when my dad is bottling it, we're actually running it through a strainer and straining it out because there's no product like this drying aid on the darn planet. And so I'm like, they sent me a new version, but I'm like, I don't like it. It's not as good. Like this wipes super clean, super easy. The uh, V2 that they sent me doesn't wipe like this. Not even close. Like this wipes right off and flashes and disappears. It's freaking magical. And it leaves an amazing finish behind. It's a great, plays really well with, I don't know, pretty much every coating. There's no static component like, you know, some people experience with bead maker. And so, I told my dad, I said, look, we're bottling this. I need you to figure out how to do this until, and then maybe if we find that it is the heat, the like heat of the summer, the heat transport, if that's affecting it, then we'll just have to order massive orders in the winter so we can have it all summer and not have to deal with the straining it and the extra labor, all that labor it cost me to get it bottled. So if you had some drying aid and it gooped up from sitting in your hot garage, just get a, uh, I don't know, like a paper, like a, like a paint strainer and just run it through it, jump, dump it from one gallon to the next, and it'll solve, solve the problem. And we found that they, whatever that goop is, it's not affecting the performance of the product once you get it out. So one of my concerns was, well, what is that goop? Is that all the silicon dioxide congealing and now the product doesn't work anymore? It doesn't, it's not, doesn't seem to be affecting it, so I don't know what the heck it is. Yeah, it's only the windows on the driver's side of the car that are kind of gummed up there. Looks like we're gonna get the car done and I'm gonna get to go play volleyball. And I have a meeting with, uh, between you and me. I've been talking with my friend Michael Stevens, his uh, YouTube channel, many of you know it, it's called Youth Man, uh, on the home theater front. And so we've been talking together about the possibility of creating obsessedhometheater.com and pursuing that where he would be the, the star, if you will. And I would help him learn how to do the logistics of, of it, because I have the engine built. And we would do a similar thing in home theater where we curate the products. I would probably consider moving the garage audio stuff to that site and really hone in on distributed audio, home theater, and garage audio and build that out robustly. You know, it's always been my dream and vision to do that. I just wasn't sure how I was gonna pull that off. If I have to, I don't have the bandwidth to make, I'm already making, shoot probably an average of 10 videos a week. How the heck could I, I don't think I can do anymore. I mean, I certainly could. I don't think I want to do anymore. Man, this thing is clean, clean. Clean city, people. This is greater than look dirty on camera. It was pretty dirty. Dirty for me anyway. So as usual, 
sure do have a lot of irons on the fire. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of behind the scenes product development as well. Working on a cabinet line. We've got to get Rousseau moving. The Rousseau cabinets are going to replace the Listas. I'm going to SEMA, which I'm sure we'll find a few dozen products there. I'm going there at the end of the month at the LZ project with some more possible destination products. Uh, we're doing an outdoor kitchen install here soon at Lena's house, my old Woodgate house. So we're going to share that just to keep learning. And uh, yeah, who knows what else I'm going to get into. RV stuff. <laughs> I'm freaking having a blast though, man. I don't feel overwhelmed. I feel motivated. I feel energized. I feel like a new man, like a, like this is the next phase of my life. jams here. Of course the jams are all coated, which makes it easier to clean and maintain. This is always the best wash because this wash after polishing is where you get all the leftover gunk from polishing and if there is any to really follow up and wipe it down. I tell you what though, if you guys, if you haven't bought the OG vacuum, even if you do have like an on-wall vacuum, you should replace yours, I'm telling you. Um, it makes it like, normally I would be like, I'm not, this thing isn't dirty enough. I'm not getting the vacuum out. I'm not doing it. I know I hate freaking cleaning the interior. It makes it enjoyable. Even without the hide hose, even if you just had the, in fact, in many ways, I really like the Cox hose reel more. It's, certainly easier to install something that even if you're not a high level if you're not high level mechanically inclined you can still pretty easily install the OG vacuum system his trunk is ripe for a audio system I just don't want to ship it somewhere, so I might talk to somebody in Orlando about doing a stereo in this thing. Maybe Ultimate Auto. I'll talk to Chris at Ultimate Auto and see if maybe. But if I'm doing it, I want to do Dyn Audio. I just don't want to ship it to Boston. That's such a, that's such a hike costs so much money to ship it up there. Good, nice and clean. Man. I got my uh, OG B BTR, OG Beater license plate tag coming. Should be here in a couple of days, a couple, maybe a week.
yeah, so, I mean, as you can tell, I'm really excited about the future. Really, really excited. And I'm, I feel like I'm taking it without such a massive sense of urgency, which means it'll probably happen faster because I'm not so, I'm not so wound up and scared, you know? I'm not doing it out of scarcity and survival. I'm doing it out of passion and why the heck not? You know, why not? Who's gonna stop me? So I think what I'm, what I'm gonna do is, um, I think I'm gonna do, start a two week vlog, two week driving vlog for Inside the Hex, where I'm just, I'm gonna force myself to go for a drive, maybe add something new each time I go out. And uh, just chat you up while I'm, while I'm doing it. So every evening I go out, shoot a video in maybe a different car and just talk about whatever's going on at the moment. Looks good. Nothing's broken in here. I put 200 miles on the car. <clears throat> so I took out the Brewster touring for a drive this morning, shot a, just a first drive video. That was fun. So that's video, I don't know if this one will be up before that, but I got that sitting on my computer there. I like to edit. I got new, um, new GoPros. The previous GoPros wouldn't, uh, wouldn't do 4K. They'd overheat the tens. You could do 4K, but not for 20 minutes straight. Uh, and so, that, I did get the little anti-gravity battery for this. We'll maybe try that out. See how it does. It weighs like two pounds. Yeah, looks pretty under here. I get my new turbo. In order to do that, they do injectors. And then again, a nice, mild, very streetable tune. This car will be good to go. A little suspension. All right, let's uh, address the tires and do a quick little vacuum. This puppy's done. I do want to do a quick little glass cleaner. See if we can't get whatever's on this window. It's only on this side. This is an invisible glass. This side. There was something white down the side of the car. I don't know if I rode through something. What's my ETA? How much time do I got? What time is it? Huh? Ten minutes. Okay. Ten minutes it is. All right, people. That's all I got. Shell's ready to go. 
So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm gonna address the tires when I get home. Evo's looking good. Life's doing great. Not that you ask, but I'm telling you anyway. Thanks for uh, thanks for being here. We'll uh, we'll see you soon. Next wash and talk. I don't know. Maybe we'll do the Brewster again here because I'm planning on driving it a bit this week. Planning on doing the Dundon Dundon exhaust and the starting the uh, Focal stereo. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. As always, stay tuned for more crazy.